What's up guys, I'm Michael Bath of and Under Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone Season 5 The Last Stand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty Warzone Season 5 is here and it is an absolute mess. I mean, the condition this update is in is the worst it could ever be and um, what they're doing is they're releasing small little updates like every day, every second day they're releasing small updates to get the game to be optimized properly or for the game to run correctly since people are having lots of problems. I mean, lag spikes, screen tearing, um, packet bursts, all these things, FPS drops and all these things where the game crashes to the desktop all these beautiful things because every time call of duty brings out a new update we are welcomed to the problems which is something that we all know about and we all know that that's just how call of duty warzone goes um so today i'm going to be talking about how to fix these problems how to get a better fps in your gameplay and how to be able to play the game with better fps depending on the machine that you're running obviously so yeah, there's a lot of problems happening right now. I had a lot of people actually send me messages to ask, yo, dude, when can you make a new video on Warzone Season 5? Because it's absolutely trash. So basically, the developers don't care. They literally feel jack shit for this game and jack left town. So yeah, it's just they, they don't care about this game anymore. They literally just keep bringing out new seasons so you can spend your money on battle passes and that's about it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into this optimization guide and ho I hope this helps you guys out. If it does, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year. Just let me know like what helped for you because I'm going to go through a couple of steps that you can do to get this game up and running a little bit better than what its current state is in. But don't worry, they're going to be releasing little bits of updates to make the game run a little bit better. But what you can do for now is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go and good, get good FPS inside the game and to be able to play the game properly. All right, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go to this little gear icon over here. If you open up Battle.net, you're going to go to Show and Explorer, and I'm just going to move this out of the screen. You go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and you're going to scroll all the way down, and you're going to go to modernwarfare.exe, and then modernwarfare.exe. That's the launcher. This is the exe file itself. Now, a lot of people with the previous seasons has changed this to disable full screen optimization and run this program in administrator. I highly recommend to disable these things right now for season five. Um, apparently with every single season it, it, it changes. I, I don't know if the developers are eventually going to make up their mind what we should be setting our things to to make the game run properly but they just don't know what they're doing so that's just a thing unfortunately. So just untick this, untick this, leave it like that, and then apply it, and do it for both of these. I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. Then from here, as you are in here, you can look at your documents, you go to documents, and then from there, you are going to go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you are going to go to players, and you're going to go to your advanced options. Now I'm just going to double click over here. Now as you can see, it says render work account. Now this depends on the CPU that you're running. If you're running a 8 core CPU, you half your cores, so mine's full. I'm running an 8 core CPU, it's a 9700K with a water cooling block on it. So I put it on 4. So if you have a 12 core CPU, you put it on 6. You get the point, just half the cores of your CPU. It's very easy and very simple to do. When you're done doing this, I don't recommend changing any of the other things at all. Just just do a render work account, half your cores, go here to file, and then say save. And that's it. You're going to close out of this. Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this completely. And then I highly recommend you go ahead and go over here and then go to game settings. You're going to go to app and you're going to say exit Battle.net completely. You do not want Battle.net to run in the background while you are playing this game. It's highly recommended to do this on both these over here. Highly recommended to do it where it says exit Battle.net completely. So it exits Battle.net completely in the background and won't run in the background and use resources like your RAM, your CPU, and you don't want it to do that. Use browser hardware acceleration. I highly recommend that you untick this. If you tick it or you untick it, it's going to say restart. So just go ahead and restart it. So I'm just going to untick it like this. And then you just restart it and then say done. And you're going to come inside here again. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to just minimize this. And then you need to do is go to the search panel over here and you're going to go to graphics settings just like this and open up your graphics settings. 
right? You're going to go to hardware accelerated to GPU scheduling. Now, for a lot of people out there, I highly recommend you switch this on. Now, for people out there that is streaming and playing this game at the same time, if you are a streamer, most of you most likely are just gaming and that's it. You're not streaming, you're not, you know, live all the time. If you are live, I highly recommend maybe switching it off, uh, but you're going to need to restart your computer to do that. If you are streaming, if you are streaming, but if you are just playing the game, I highly recommend switching it on and leaving it on and you're going to add modern warfare inside here so i'm just going to remove mine show you how to add it you go to browse and you're going to add your game inside here which is just like this and that's yeah i renamed it to call of duties for the bullshit that's my game over there double click on it and you're going to click on the exe not the launcher the exe you're going to say add you're going to go here go to options go to high performance and say save once you're done with that you're going to go close out of this right click on your desktop and go to nvidia control panel this is for people out there that's using nvidia graphics cards and i highly recommend that you go ahead and change these things right now for season five so adjust image settings with preview i highly recommend if you are running a low end to a mid-tier gaming machine you know your, your personal preference right so you go here and you put it on balance or you put it on performance if you're running a low-end gaming pc to a, a, a mid-tier gaming pc high-end you can go quality but high-end you can just click on this to be honest with you um but there is a few tweaks that you can do if you are using this one if you do suggest using this one over here but depending on your machine is depending on what you're going to use over here just play around with it you should be good to go depending on what machine you are running All right so 3d managing all right so this is managed 3D settings. We are not going to change it through Warzone itself. We're going to do global settings. And all you need to do over here is just follow these steps. You can just pause the video and follow these steps that I've selected in here. This is still perfectly fine. I've done this for season four. This is still perfectly fine in the video control panel for season five. Okay, so I highly recommend you go ahead and just change all of these things. Make sure it's your graphics card. Make sure you prefer maximum performance. Make sure that you put this on quality. Make sure this is on one. Make sure this is on off. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to config and surround. I'm just going to say yes. Config and surround, and you're going to go to this over here, and you're going to select your graphics card over here. Do not select auto select. Do not select CPU. Select your graphics card. Once you select your graphics card, just say apply. Once you click apply, it will apply these settings, and then you should be good to go. Now, to have a little bit better digital vibrance inside your game, go to Adjust Desktop Color and Settings. Go over here and go to Digital Vibrance, and just go to Image 3 and put it on whatever you like it to be. Okay, my sweet spot is 85. It's always been 85 and it's always going to be 85. So my sweet spot is 85. It will be different for you if you are running a, I don't know, a gaming monitor or a display like a laptop display. It's going to depend on your mach current machine that you're currently running. So just change the digital vibrance and watch your game look much, much better. Then you don't have to use no video filters, which is actually going to decrease your FPS in season five, where season five is absolutely fucking broken right now. So you're in any ways losing frames. So don't use no video filters. Rather come in here if you are using a video graphics card. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to say apply. It's just going to apply these settings and go out of this. Now, I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. I've said this in my previous videos. I'm going to say it again. I highly recommend you do these three steps before you jump into Call of Duty Warzone. You're going to press the Windows key in R and you're going to type in temp just like this and press enter. And you're going to click on anything inside here. Press Control and A to highlight everything. Press delete on your keyboard and just delete everything inside here just like this. If it says that it can't delete it, it means Windows is currently running this file over here. So just say cancel and then leave it. All right, you're going to press the Windows key in R again. This time you're going to press Shift 5 with the percentage symbol, type in temp and then Shift 5 again, just like this. And then you're going to say OK. Click anywhere inside here, Control A, highlight everything, right click on it if you want to, or just press delete on your keyboard. And then say do this on all kind of items and then say try again. Once it's done that, do this on all kind of items and say skip. All of these files are being run right now because I'm using OBS, I'm using Discord, I'm using a bunch of things. So these things are running in the background. Yours might just completely disappear. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to do this one more time. So Windows key and R, and you're going to type in prefetch, just like this, and press enter. Go to continue, click on anything inside here, control and A, highlight everything, press delete on your keyboard, and you're going to say do this all kind of items, and then say skip, because Windows is currently running these two files. As you can see, it starts creating files because I'm doing stuff with my machine. Right, once you're done with that, you empty your recycling bin, 
I highly recommend you go ahead and empty your recycling bin because it's very, very important for you to go ahead and empty your recycling bin. And you can actually see how much like space you are wasting by doing that. So let me just show you. I'm just going to move my recycling bin. I'm just going to say empty recycling bin, say yes, and then just say continue, and there we go. Now, I do this almost every day, so mine won't be huge, but if you don't do that every day, it might be in the gigs and stuff like that, and you're wasting space. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into the game, and I'm going to show you what settings I'm using for Season 5 right now, so you can have the best experience inside the game. I'll also be showing my FPS that I'm doing with MSI Afterburner, so you can see what frames I'm doing inside the game, instead of just you know, showing you what to do, but you don't see the FPS that I'm doing. So let's jump straight into the game. Let me show you what you need to do for season five to have a good experience for now until they bring up some new updates and stuff like that. This is about all I can do. I'm not the developer for COD. I'm really not the developer for COD. I could just help as much as I can. That's about it. Um, yeah. I just hope this helped you guys. Um, if it does, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your YouTube channel if you're new year. And yeah, let's jump straight into the game and then show you the settings for season five that I'm currently using right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm doing about 73 FPS in the lobby right now. But there's a reason why I'm doing that low FPS. I'm going to actually show you is that this has changed by itself. Um, I don't know why, um, but apparently this is a thing. As you can see, everything has just been put on. I mean, DirectX Ray Tracing is on, so let's go over these things for Season 5, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you what you're going to need to do for Season 5 for the best FPS possible right now. And then just leave it as these settings that I'm going to show you now. And just all you need to do is leave it and then wait for them to bring out their small little patches, their small little updates for the graphic improvement for you to have better FPS in the game. But this is as much as I can do for you is show you what you can do with the game itself and your window settings and stuff like that, like your NVIDIA graphics settings and all that. But I can't do anything more. I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a developer for COD. If I was, this game would have been perfect. Anyways, so full screen your monitor you're currently running or your display your graphics card you're currently running the refresh rate of your monitor the resolution of your monitor you're going to disable this keep this on 10 automatic this you're going to disable depending if you want to cap your fps if you are running a let's say a 240 hertz monitor okay a gaming monitor 240 hertz and you want to be able to do 240 fps you go ahead and enable this if you have a strong enough machine i'm guessing you have a strong enough machine if you have a 240 hertz monitor by the way but anyways so i highly recommend you go ahead and enable it if you want to do so if you don't want to do so this all it does is it helps with screen tearing that's that's what this is meant for. V-Sync is meant for screen tearing. And it's also there to cap your FPS. But it caps it because it, it it's there to don't let you get screen tearing. Okay? I, I don't know how to put this in, in more stupid, simple terms. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. Let's just put it as it's there for screen tearing. Okay? So I leave mine disabled because I never get screen tearing in my game. That's about it. I, I don't. I've, I've, I've experienced it once in Apex Legends, but I fixed it myself. All right. This on Unlimited, you're going to keep this at 60. So you can actually see the Modern Warfare symbol. 2.2 as always. Disable this. Disable this. All right. Once you're done with that, you're going to apply these settings and then go to Quality. This is your own personal preference. Field of view your own personal preference. Put it as on whatever you want it to be. But I highly recommend putting this at Affected. And then go the, to this camera movement, least. Render resolution, 100. Leave it there, don't touch it. Just leave it there. All right, streaming quality, low. Texture resolution, normal. Test the filter and a tropic. You're going to leave this either on high or on normal, depending on the machine that you're running. Particle quality, you can put this at low. Bullet impacts and spray, enable it. It's pretty cool to have it as a feature. Tessellation, you're either going to put on all or you're going to put on near. But I do highly recommend putting it on all. This one, this is just GOI fix, so you can go ahead and enable it. It doesn't do anything with FPS. It doesn't have to do anything with FPS, so go ahead and enable it. On-demand texture streaming, disable, all right? This we're going to get to just now. This you're going to put on 1.00 if, if you have NVIDIA DLSS. And you're going to put NVIDIA DLSS on Ultra Performance. Leave it on Ultra Performance. It's the best that you can do in this game if you have NVIDIA DLSS. If you do not have NVIDIA DLSS and this is disabled, okay, then you can actually change this to, let's say, 
T two times. I highly recommend leaving it at T two times if you have this disabled, okay? But then this needs to be all the way down to 0, 0.00. But if you are not using NVIDIA DLSS like me, go ahead and put this on 0. Point, or, or 1.00 and put this on ultra performance. This one over here, disable. This, disable. This, disable. It's a multiplayer game. You do not need it. This, you all the way to low. This, you can enable or disable. Lots of people have debates about this, and I'm not going to get into this. I'm not going to. Either you enable this or you don't. It's your own personal preference. I'm going to leave mine both enabled. That's fine for me. Particle lighting, you can put this on normal. Leave it at normal. You don't need this to be at ultra. It doesn't really do anything to your machine at all, but just leave it at normal. Direct 6 ray tracing, you do not need this in a multiplayer game. If you are playing a single player game, then it's completely fine. If you're playing single player mode, for like Call of Duty or whatever the case might be, disable this. You do not need this. As you can see, look how much VRAM it eats just by putting this in on. You do not need this. Okay. Ambient occlusion, you can put this in at both, or you can put this at disable. It's your own personal preference. I'm going to leave mine at both for season five because it works perfectly fine like this. This you're going to put on disable. You're going to apply these settings. Okay. Once you apply these settings, as you can see, my FPS is going to climb up. A lot. They become doing about 150, 251. All right. Now, once you're done with that, you're going to scroll all the way back up, and you're going to say restart shader installation. Now it's going to restart your shader installation here at the top. Once it's done, close your game, come back into the game, and then your lobby is going to look like this. Instead of doing 75 FPS, instead of doing 100, you'll be doing 160, 170, 180, to 200 FPS, to 230 FPS, to 220 FPS while playing the game, depending on the machine that you're running. Don't expect 250 FPS or 260 FPS or whatever the case might be in high frames with a low-end budget gaming PC or a low-end budget gaming laptop. Don't expect that because I'm not a miracle worker. I can just help you as best I can. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your YouTube channel if you're new here. And like I said before, Season 5 is absolutely fucked. And as always, peace out.